What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to do a toolbox tour of my KCP1422. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to start on the top. Uh, I haven't done a tool in this like since like I got it in 2020. So there, here's an update for you guys. And if you guys haven't seen this toolbox, this toolbox is mainly for excess tools. I don't really go to this toolbox a lot. My main toolbox is all the way there, like right there. And here is a, just literally excess tools. And it's pretty much a mess on this toolbox, so don't judge me. All right, so the first, the top toolbox is basically a whatever toolbox, my excess sockets that I don't often use. These are like the Tectin um, swivel. I use this rarely. Use this. Um, this is my SAE hex. Use that rarely. That's why they're here. Um, Astro tools. SAE swivel sockets. Sunex swivel deep sockets. Metric Sunex SAE. This is a laser tool fuel line socket set of the 17 and the 19 is in my other toolbox. Tectin three quarters inch. I rarely use this. This set was is barely used. So this one is for like the depth pumps filters when you're placing depth pumps. I don't often use that. Gear wrench, 12 point. Uh Bolt biters, these are freaking awesome. These are much cheaper, much better than the RBRT, in my opinion. Uh, little Eaton fuse checker and fuse puller. So don't really use that often. A lot of, you know, vitamins and stuff. Uh, this other than Macco. I love this Macco knife. Had this for like two years now, barely use it. Um, I love this scissor. I use this all the time. With some, or any, when it comes to like cutting stuff, this can cut a penny, believe it or not. Uh, Dykes. This is my go-to bike. This is usually goes to my um, roll call bag. I'm gonna make do a tour on that soon. Inverter, so if your laptop is charged while well, doing a regen. Uh, my Capri wrenches that I don't really use that much, rarely use, and still reorganizing this toolbox. So, uh, sorry about that. Um, so, I'm done with this one. There's nothing much going on over here. So, on the second drawer is basically my wrench drawer. Um, here is an expert from we call this 516 to one inch. I've had this for a while now, like three, four years now. Um, got pre thin wrenches, got pre angled wrenches, SK clarinet wrenches. This is my big boys uh, wrenches right here, all tech tin. Probably don't need them, the metric side because I do have the precision torque on my other toolbox, which are my go-to. Um, Icon offset wrenches, the pre super thin wrenches right here. Bam. And these are from four all the way to 13. Rarely use them, probably once or twice. Also tools, thin wrenches. These are my specialty wrenches and don't really use them much. But when I do, you know, they come in a clutch. This is the torque, SAE. Like I said, ratchet being wrench. This is from three quarters, actually five sixteenths. This is my paint here that doesn't belong here. So, 
Okay, let's open that drawer. This drawer, it's like the specialty ones. Um, here, I'm just tapping that kit. Love this kit. Just, I did a video of this about two months ago. Air in extractors. So, they're pretty good. This is on my Mac knife sharpener. You guys probably seen that in my, one of my videos. This is a solder gun. It's a battery. It takes a takes a while to charge though, so I don't. Have, that's why I rarely use it. Um, I like this set. I don't know. It's pretty cheap. It's by Weller. Um, put that in here. Snap on. Just when I do a road call, I usually use this just for a quick check. Call plug checker. This is a heat gun, portable heat gun. Again, takes a while to charge. And it, it uses a mini USB since so it's annoying. Um, this e, this is the bearing tool for deep short engines from BD15, 13, and 16. Um, this is my pry bar right on the side. I think that's the 52 inch pry bar. Um, this right here is the impact and set from Mac. The impact um, screwdriver thing. Look at that. It's pretty cool. It's a cool set. Hell expensive though. I don't I rarely use that. But again, I need it. it comes in the clutch. All my Tech 10 Chrome front wrenches. Half inch. SAE 38s. Cool laser tools. This, I think it's a sensor kit from laser tools. Um, blue point micrometer, digital caliper. Uh, this is my, I really use this again. This are like my access tool, so I don't do a lot of wiring stuff that least this I, I think this is okay they don't really work well for me i don't know maybe it's me uh the snap on right here it's a waste of money never used it um probably use it once or twice but post clamp remover by lyle really handy and a bunch of uh, external and internal uh and i'm blacking out right now snap ring pliers and these are my Mac post clamp pliers. Again, comes in the clutch. Load tester, load pro load tester. Uh, uh, don't use that much. I'd rather use the light bulb than that one to load test the system. So, let's set for that drawer. Let's go to this drawer right here. This drawer right here is a bunch of uh, basically excess. This is for the Matco tool grid stuff. 3 8 This is 3 quarters. 3 8 And this is for the extensions, organizer, and stuff. Uh, fuse, brackets, excess tool. This is for caging the tool, the brake. Excess 16 excess half inch extensions um just basically like stuff that i really use this is for dd60 just to set the exhaust uh the jake brakes big jake brake lash exhaust lash um this stuff right here comes in handy uh, i do have another set of this hose clamps rotary cleaners uh, call that wrenches, excess tools, and a bunch of air fittings. Uh, and then this, it's like uh, one of those things that, because <laughs> our management doesn't allow us to use razor, razor uh, blade anymore. So that's it for that. Let's go to this tool again. Bunch of excess tools. 
RB this spring tool. I only use one, which is in the other side of my toolbox. This is coming for free. This is from Freightliner. Just just on set. RBRT. Don't you use this one? I have the impacting Ember RBRT. So, and this thing breaks so often that I stop using them. This is the Torx. This is the hex. Um, these are the adjustable indexing pry bar. It can go from like different position. So, you can go from there. You can go set up how you want it. And this is also adjustable. So, it's pretty cool. Fix that later. For love this set right here. This is worth the money. But I don't really use them too often enough but if I do I just keep them here just just to get more space on the other my maximizer let's go on this set this thing is trash don't ever buy them don't ever don't ever buy them this is trash straight up garbage if I can throw that away I will do but it's pretty trash uh, this is a cable cutter for those heavy gauge wires that I have to deal with um this right here pretty trash this is sonix i mean if you like cheap stuff all right again got cut off so let's go to another so this milwaukee how to use it too often i'm actually selling this to just to get more space this is a uh, extra coking extension i don't really use uh because i have i bought another set with this already so this is just like excess stuff um this is the sonix magnetic um uh, the mag this is a waste of money honestly um it's it the magnet is not very strong so it's pretty much uh <laughs> trash so i mean if you're gonna have a magnet like that or a magneting, magnetic swivel. It has to be a pretty strong magnet. So, yeah, it's pretty trash. All right, so this drawer right here, a bunch of uh, excess stuff. Um, BIM tools, chain, uh, engine chain, when I do the 6.0 on the Amazon trucks. Little tape bunch of uh, die grinder stuff, brake cleaner, hub cleaner, um, stud puller, brushes, uh, this is for the recall on the Cascadia for the headlights, this is the kit that comes with the, the impacting screwdriver thing, a uh, reseal puller, this is actually pretty good set, somebody said that this is not bad this is pretty bad but actually it worked fine to me so uh may use spiral screw extractor this is the carbide burr set from matco terminal tools this thing is the shade shrink snap on torch battery cleaner the best bits in the world rebranded matco stuff right so you don't have to buy this on Maco, by the way. This, this is for the torch, striker, and that's about it. This is just a bunch of random lead set, um, but I like to keep them around just in case. So that's a bit for that. Just then a bunch of and it's like tape. This right here, almost like specialty stuff. Or a terminal toolkit. Uh, this is just the, uh, this set right here. Gear around sun. Uh, this is like the, we call this oxygen sensor kit. Love those set. Maddox. Uh, front end. I love this set. It's pretty cheap. This is a what do you call this? A little scope. 
and it's like 70 bucks, 70 dollars. That trash, bullshit, trash ass oxygen sensor kit that every YouTuber like trying to sell to us, and a bunch of random stuff. This is just to test uh, the coolant for the comments, coolant level sensor. Um, RTV, bunch of brushes. The best tool in here is right here. If you don't have, if you had had that pin, a jumper pin, like right there, paper clip. It's the best set. Right there. Just to like jump the wires. Let's go to this one. Right here is just a. Uh, the Noco GB155 can power up a Cascadia sleeper and a Western Star, heavy duty Western Star, Milwaukee snap on my gas mask when I'm resurfacing a flywheel. And right here is just junk stuff, gloves, welding gloves, uh, my all the snap on wrench stuff. I'm not gonna go through all of this, but it's just a bunch of uh, PPEs and knee pads and all that. What's that? The size is my jacket. Uh, well, Miller welding helmet and uh, my stuff right here. My Maco. You know, it's a mess right now. Sorry about that. But that's my Maco chair. My roll call bag by Mac. Love that bag. Um, my USA mate, Tech 10. Not, not, uh, not drivers. And Maco speaker. This is pretty trash. So you can't turn the volume all the way up because it will just make that stupid rattle sound. So pretty trash for 100 bucks. It's a waste of money. Um, these are my reliable lights. This Braun has not break on me yet. So this Maxion had this for like six months, almost like, actually longer than that. And pretty reliable. Um, there's nothing I can say about this. It's worth the money. 35 bucks, the best light out there. So, and that is about it guys if you guys like this video hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed already it's free so click that subscribe button other than that man my name is tyrone trinity and thank you and i'm out